Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariongi. Today we continue with our chemistry topic of discussion and the topic is nitrogen and its compounds. Uh, today we are going to discuss one of the oxides of nitrogen and this is nitrogen 4 oxide. <coughs> Uh, nitrogen 1, uh, nitrogen 4 oxide, <coughs> being one of the oxides of nitrogen, is prepared by the action of concentrated nitric 5 acid on copper tannins. So the method of preparation is almost similar to that of preparation of nitrogen 2 oxide. It's only that nitrogen 2 oxide, we use dilute nitric 5 acid on copper tannins. But here we are using concentrated nitric 5 acid. And the reason for that is because concentrated nitric 5 acid is a stronger oxidizing agent, is a strong oxidizing agent than dilute. And therefore it oxidizes more. And that's why we're getting nitrogen 4 oxide, but not nitrogen 2 oxide. So we can say that uh, Nitrogen 4 oxide is prepared in the laboratory by the action of concentrated nitric 5 acid on copper tannins. The action of concentrated nitric 5 acid on copper tannins. So we have copper plus nitric 5 acid concentrated. We get copper 2 nitrate nitrogen 4 oxide plus water. So to balance that equation, we need to balance the hydrogen, make them two. Uh, nitrogen, there are two as well. Oxygen, there are six plus two plus one, that is nine. So if you make uh, this one to be four, and this one we make it to be two, we balance the hydrogen. The nitrogen will be four and two can make this to be 2 as well. So that is uh, oxygen is 6 plus 4 plus 2. Oxygen is balanced. Uh, hydrogen is balanced. Nitrogen is also balanced and copper is balanced. So that equation is balanced the way it is. So we are saying that the nitrogen 4 oxide gas produced here is a red brown gas. Is a red brown gas. So the diagram showing the preparation So we have the diagram there. Let's label the diagram. So we have concentrated nitric 5 acid and we have copper tannins. So here we are using a dropping funnel that has a tap. So this one does not necessarily need to reach the bottom 
of the flask because the tap can open and close to regulate how much uh, of nitric fiber acid is flowing into the copper tannins. We can also see from the diagram here that the gas is being collected by downward delivery. So the gas is being collected by downward delivery and that is because the gas is denser than air. So we have nitrogen 4 oxide. And uh, to know that uh, the gas jar is full of the gas, we can place a moist blue lit mass paper. Place a moist blue lit mass paper. And when it turns red, that shows that the gas jar is full of the gas. That shows the gas jar is full of the gas. So basically we have that and this is the laboratory preparation of nitrogen four oxide. Uh, so we are saying that uh, the preparation is as per the equation, uh, the action of conch nitric five acid on copper tannins to produce copper two nitrate, nitrogen four oxide and water. The nitrogen four oxide is collected by downward delivery. It cannot be collected over water. And the reason why it cannot be collected over water is because the gas is soluble in water. So the other option is to collect it by downward delivery uh, because it is denser than air. So this downward delivery is also known as upward displacement of air because the air that was initially inside the gas jar will be displaced upwards. So you're saying that the gas is collected by downward delivery, which is also known as upward displacement of air. And this is because the gas is denser than air. The gas is denser than air. Also, it's good to note that the gas cannot be collected over water because it is soluble in water. So that is as far as the preparation of uh, nitrogen four oxide is concerned. Uh, let's say something about the physical properties, some of which we have mentioned. We have mentioned the density, we have mentioned the solubility. So let's uh, see the physical properties. of nitrogen four oxide. And we are saying that one is a red brown gas with a pungent and irritating smell. It's also good to note that uh, the gas is highly poisonous and should be collected or should be prepared in a fume chamber or outside in the open. So the gas is highly poisonous. That's nitrogen four oxide. 
and should be prepared in a fume chamber or a fume cupboard or outside in the open another property is that uh, of the gas is that it turns a moist blue litmus paper to red that is it's acidic it's an acidic gas and that's why we say that when you put a moist blue litmus paper at the top there uh, that moist blue litmus paper when it turns red that's an indication that the gas jar is full <clears throat> so that is another property uh, we have already mentioned that it is uh, ga the gas is soluble in water <clears throat> uh, nitrogen four oxide is soluble in water hence cannot be collected over water we have also been able to see that uh, the gas is denser than air hence collected by downward delivery so that's a repetition that's something that we have mentioned here that the gas is collected by downward delivery because it is denser than air <clears throat> um hmm. i think basically we have uh, identified the physical properties of nitrogen four oxide and at that point we can have an assignment So the first question in the assignment, write a balanced chemical equation for the preparation of nitrogen four oxide. Uh, two, explain why nitrogen four oxide is A, prepared in a fume cupboard, and why B, it's collected by downward uh, delivery. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.